Hello everybody and welcome to another video. This is a really really awesome video. Um, most of my newer subscribers from like the, the past year really um, will probably not recognize this PC. Uh, I built this PC January 2012. Um, budget PC build as the title suggests. Um, yeah, a year after I, I, I recorded part two um, I'm now recording part three, um, and it's really, really, really awesome. So again, we're sticking to the same sort of thing of it's a budget PC, um, and yeah, apart apart from since we left in January 2012, not a lot has happened um, at all um, until now because as you can see, I've got a load of awesome stuff that I'm going to be putting in there. Um, so first off we're going to go through the parts and then of course we're going to unbox in some cases and install them. So here are two uh, SATA cables, relatively standard stuff. Uh, yeah, they're littered around the around the house quite frequently so uh, like they weren't too uh, hard to get hold of. This came out of a broken PC. Um, it's a Western Digital Caviar SE. Um, of course, it's, it's not a very quick drive by today's standards at all, but it'll do the job. It's just extra space. It's still only 80 gig in this thing, and that's not enough considering I'm going to be doing a fair bit of gaming on this now. Here is a Maxter 80 gig hard drive. Um, again, very, very... Uh, oh, this is a... This is 160 gig, this is. I didn't know this was 160 gig, but... <laughs> Bonus for me, so uh, yeah, so we got an extra 240 gig to put in this machine, which means we're going to have 320 gig overall. Um, that's perfect considering I'm only really using this for games and Windows programs. Um, and yeah, th this this is the main reason why I began to record this uh, part three. This is an Asus ATI Radeon HD 6450 graphics card. Um, I know I'm gonna get loads of people are gonna say, Oh, that's a really shite graphics card. I mean you should have got a fifty seven seventy at least. Um guys, it's budget. Very, very, very budget. And this is a very, very, very budget card for a, a great value, really. I mean the performance. This should play Battlefield three on high settings, it should play armor two uh, Black Ops 2, I'm not really much of a Call of Duty fan, I'm trying to name games, uh, GTA 4, uh, San Andreas, I, I love San Andreas, that's going to be the main game I'm playing, but yeah, it's it was £25, brand spanking new, and it's a low profile edition, of, simply for the fact that the low profile edition was, was cheaper, I don't even believe they did these in a, a, a full size version, but yeah, this is the card. I'm going to come back to that in a minute. In the box, you just get your standard sort of stuff like drivers and your uh, manual. We don't need that, so just. Uh, that noise is a low profile bracket, so I won't be using them. Um, but to the card itself, this thing has really, really decent reviews, guys. Um, they said you get so much uh, power for the money. I mean, this is one of the cheapest cards on the market, bar like the 5450 and uh, the GT610, I believe, from NVIDIA. But um, yeah, this came out on top as the budget, extra, the extreme budget graphics card. As you can see, it's got VGMA, HDMI, and DVI, which is uh, really, really handy. Um, no fans, passive cooling, zero decibels. So yeah it's going to be totally silent in the case which is really really nice and it won't take up much space at all because of course it's low profile which means it's very 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 small so this is part three let's install all this awesome stuff so then guys i've sort of angled you so you can see inside the case i've got the led on the uh on my, on my camera and i've got a light behind here as you can sort of see there um so yeah this is the inside of the case as you can probably tell from part one and part two we've got all our same components really we've got the 7025 there which is an absolutely uh great little integrated graphics card for doing aero and just basic desktop tasks which is what i originally built this for but 
now I sort of wanted to turn it into a gaming, like budget gaming PC. Um, AMD Samprom 145, not a PC processor at all, but hopefully uh, part four or whatever uh, will be an upgrade. I'm looking to get myself um, an Athlon X3 or a Phenom X4 or whatever really because it, it's still the motherboard is still up to date everything is am3 and ddr3 and all that sort of stuff the ram i've got no problem with four gig will serve me fine and the 80 gig hard drive is still in there uh, that's just been chugging away pretty decently uh for these past 12 months but the first thing we're going to do is plug in the two hard drives let me just grab down and get them so this is the first one, the Maxter 160 gig hard drive. Uh, we're just going to slot this underneath the original drive. It does stick out a bit because of the um, the casing, but it doesn't bother me too much to be honest. Unless I get myself a replacement case, this isn't really uh, going to be all neat and tidy on the inside. So in goes the power and grab the SATA cable. Just plug that in. As you can see, um, uh, one upgrade I have done to this since I got uh, since I built it since this went off cam uh, in January two thousand twelve is adds a SATA optical drive up there. Um, so yeah, that's why one of the uh, SATA ports are taken up by there. But apart from that, it's all exactly the same as where we left off. Um, let's grab the Caviar SE, pop that in, and so where's my Rolex, there it is, I will uh, before I put the case back on do a little bit of tidying up obviously because my OCD will uh, haunt me until I actually get it nice and tidy, but this is just to show you. Like the top one in. Radio. Pull that through there. And our hard drives are in. So now I'm going to angle you a little bit better to get to so see a good view of the uh, PCI Express port. And let's plug this little uh, beast of a graphics card in. This is the main reason why we're here. The Asus ATI. Radeon HD 6450. Um, this should be relatively easy to slot in. I mean, uh, it shouldn't be too hard at all. It's literally a plug and play sort of uh, job. This is a really uh, weird angle, guys, so I'm sorry if I'm inserting this wrong because I've got the camera basically in the place where I would like to be myself. Um, We're in. Simple as that. Um, yeah, so everything's in. We now have uh, the Asus H ATI Radeon HD 6450 1GB edition uh, installed. That's really, really awesome. I'm going to plug him in and boot him up and see if all of this stuff works. Uh, be back with you in a minute, guys. So uh, here we are. Uh, just booted up now this second. Um, I've installed all the drivers for the graphics cards. Um, and just to prove to you that this is working, um, pop into the library. Uh, yeah, quick update on the actual PC itself. I stopped using it for about three or four months altogether um, because I just didn't need it really. I had the G5 and that was chugging along lovely and I was doing everything I could possibly want to on that and yeah you can see the list of hard drives there some of them haven't been uh, reformatted they were all they're all pulled out of old computers that don't work anymore basically um, but yeah so now I've got 400 gigs in this machine and if we go to I believe you can check in system the focus does not like that um, device manager we're able to see in there that the graphics card has installed brilliantly and I have to say guys it's superb the the 
it's it's just brilliant in Aero or Metro or whatever they're calling it nowadays. Um, but yeah, you can see the AMD Radeon HD sixty four fifty. So that's really really awesome. And I've been playing Skyrim, Far Cry three, uh, San Andreas, GTA three, all the games you'd expect on it absolutely superbly. And um, yeah, I'm chuffed a bit with it, guys. For twenty five pound, I definitely definitely recommend it. You just cannot go wrong, especially if you're on integrated graphics or some, even on something like a fifty four fifty. It'd be a huge upgrade. But, yeah, this is an absolutely awesome PC now. Uh, and there's more upgrades to come in the future, for sure. I'm, I'm pretty positive there's going to be a part four at some stage or another. Um, but, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And, as usual, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.